Good morning. Today we will recognize six extraordinary young men for their dedication to service by inducting them into the Martin Luther King Jr. Society. We are honored to have with us today Cooper Rasnicki, MBA Class of 2021, who has readily agreed to begin our ceremony. Cooper is the president of the MBA Service Club. He came to MBA as a seventh grader and has worked on numerous service projects since his freshman year. Cooper has two brothers, Maxwell, who's a sophomore, and Reed, who is an eighth grader. Gentlemen, please join me in wel welcoming Cooper Rasnicki to the podium. Thank you, Stanford, and good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Like Stanford said, my name is Cooper Rasnicki, and I'm truly honored to be speaking to you on behalf of the MLK Society. I've spent a good amount of my extracurricular time and my summers engaged in service work, and I have a deep appreciation for what the society represents and its members stand for. The MLK Society acknowledges students who strive to act on the values and teachings of Dr. King through service, leadership, and a commitment to others. Today, we are going to induct six new members who have demonstrated extraordinary effort in service, and I congratulate all of you on this very special achievement. But I also want to acknowledge the entire student body for the commitment to others that I see from each of you on the Hill every day. We often talk about MBA as a brotherhood, a brotherhood that is built upon the foundation of friendship that starts while we are here and lasts long after we are gone. And that is my topic here today, friendship. Dr. King believed that friendship is one of our most powerful tools. He believed that friendship could change people's perceptions and create a more accepting society. So if you think about it, Friendship is a form of service. We do it very well here at MBA, both on and off the campus. I want to take a minute to tell you a story of how I met a pretty good friend of mine. One day during my freshman year, I decided to participate in a Preston Taylor Ministries service event. For those of you who don't already know, Preston Taylor is an after-school program for underprivileged children in a handful of Nashville communities. And MBA used to go to Preston Taylor on Thursday afternoons and tutor and play with the kids. I remember boarding my, the bus for the very first time and being nervous about meeting all these new people. And one of the first people I met there was a young kid named York. York was this awesome third grader. He was totally full of energy and not quite sure what to think about me. And honestly, at the time, I didn't really know what I was supposed to say to him. But we started talking, and before I knew it, York had dropped a yo mama joke on me. So obviously, I had to respond and throw one right back at him. But what was amazing was how easy it was for the both of us to find a common ground with each other. I was six years older than he was. We had come from completely different neighborhoods and we didn't look the same. But here we were laughing and having a great time together. So I came back the following Thursday and just about every Thursday for the next two years. I saw York every time and every time York came and jumped in my arms to give me a hug. I made an unexpected and meaningful friendship with York. And as I look back on those visits and other activities, I've come to realize that service is basically a commitment to relationships with other people. I'm pretty sure this is the power of friendship Dr. King was talking about when he said, people fail to get along because they fear each other. They fear each other because they do not know each other. And they do not know each other because they have not communicated with each other. This incredible quotation should inspire all of us to be good friends to those we know and better to those that we don't. While our primary purpose here this morning is to remember Dr. King and celebrate these new inductees. Mr. Kelly also asked me to give you a charge to a call with philanthropy and service. I want to charge you all with a task I know you all are already good at. I want you to go out and make new friends. Some of you are just starting your journey at MBA, and some of you, like me, are off to college next year. But wherever you are, I want you to learn from my experience with York. I want you to get out of your comfort zone. I want you to go meet strangers in the room and I want you to go tell your mama joke or two. So as you remember Dr. King and celebrate these new inductees, I charge you all to engage in the philanthropy of true and genuine service. Congratulations again to the new inductees. Thank you to all the faculty who have made the MBA Service Club such a rewarding experience for me over the last four years, and thank you all for listening. Thank you, Cooper, for taking the time today to offer us those words of reflection. In order to its constitution, the purpose of the King Society is to honor the students who exemplify the values 
for which Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is best remembered. Kindness to others, selflessness, and a yearning for a just society. Echoing Dr. King, President Obama in his second inaugural address observed, what binds this nation together is not the colors of our skin or the tenets of our faith or the origins of our names. What makes us exceptional, what makes us America, is our allegiance to an idea articulated in a declaration made more than two centuries ago. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Today, we continue a never-ending journey to bridge the meaning of those words with the realities of our time. The six gentlemen we induct today have committed themselves to, to a small part of that same journey. The King Society motto, compassion, character, and community service fully express the high goals of this fraternity. During the ceremony, a candle will be lit for each new member of the King Society to symbolize the light of hope that service brings to others. Please step forward to the candle in front of the podium as your name is called and then return to your seat and stay standing. Frank Bass. William Cook. William Haggerty. Josh Me. Foster Pierce. Denton Sensing. Now, Senior Jason Zhu will administer the MLK Society Pledge to all members of the Society. Gentlemen, please repeat the oath after me. I pledge that I will embrace the values of courage, kindness, and compassion that empowered Dr. King. I will help create the beloved community of Dr. King's dream where all people can live in harmony. Thank you, gentlemen. Welcome to the MLK Society. This concludes the ceremony. Please extinguish your candles and take your seats.